According to the Holy Bible, when believers in Christ depart this life, they are immediately transported to a far better place that is free of pain, sorrow and suffering. For late Mrs. Abimbola Falasha de Yuba, a devout Christian and lover of Christ who lived her life in line with the commandments of God, we can rejoice that she is in a better and safer place with her Maker, God. While she has been described by some as a hard-working and loving woman, others have described her as a disciplinarian and a great lover of God. Born on the 17th of July, 1920, to late Mr. and Mrs. Francis Edward Lee, late Mrs. Abimbola Yuba was the last grandchild of Consul J.S. Lee of Tinumbu Methodist Church, Lagos. She attended CMS Primary School, and later Queen's College for her secondary school education. She studied music under the famous T.K.E. Phillips and taught piano lessons in Queen's College for many years. She got married to a barrister Beniza Adeyuba, a.k.a. Yes or No, and they had a daughter, Dr. Mrs. Olutoni Phillips, an economist, banker, and a financial analyst. Late Mrs. Abimbola Yuba and her husband, Barish Dai Beniza Yuba were together till he died in April 1996. Late Mrs. Abimbola Yuba was a strong believer in God who did not waver over the years even when she experienced the challenge of childbearing. Ma Tui, as she was fondly called, a strong lover of Fanta, was an amiable woman loved by all who knew her. The funeral service of this great woman Late Mrs. Abimbola Yuba was held at St. Paul's Church, Breadfruit, Lagos, on Thursday, the 25th of January 2018. The service played host to friends and well wishers, among whom were the son in law of the deceased, Dr. Lumidi Phillips, the founder and chairman board of governors of Darwin College, Nigerian businessman and socialite, Basharu J.K. Randall, billionaire property mogul. Sir Oluokelwo, Lagos Whitecap Chiefs represented the Oba of Lagos, Oba Rilwana Kinlu, Olori Ekundayo Onogurua represented her husband, Dalayo Fudogbolu, Oba Adedeji Olushegu Onogurua, among many others. They all came out to pay their last respect to late Mrs. Sabimbola Yuba, who died at the age of 97. The remains of Mrs. Abimola Yuba was led into the church for the burial rites as her body was received by the officiating priest. To kick start the service was the opening hymn, All Hail the Power of Jesus' Name, led by the orchestra group of Darwin College Lecky. <laughs> This was followed by the sermon delivered by Rev. Shockbeck Johnson, Bishop, Lagos West Anglican Communion. In his sermon, he said, Every mortal is a visitor on earth, and heaven is the final place for all. He urged all Christians to live a worthy life, as it is the only ticket to eternity with God. Rev. Shockbeck Johnson said, 
Rest is only promised for those who lived and died in the Lord, and that his confidence that late Mrs. Sabimbola Yuba has gone to rest both physically and spiritually, because she lived and died knowing, loving, serving, and trusting God. He further appealed to all present to live a righteous and worthy life, as no one knows when death will come knocking. He also prayed for the family and others present. We are gathered here today as a family in the body of Christ to say farewell to Mama Kapimbola Fola Shade, our sister in Christ, who after 97 years of her sojourn here on earth has been called home to her eternal rest. And therefore, knowing that we are strangers here and heaven is our home, we know that no matter how long or perhaps how short that we live on earth, the fact remains that one day we will all leave and return home. Or, as our text from the third chapter of the letter to the Hebrews from verse 12 tells us, we'll go to our rest. But the question we should keep behind or in our minds as we meditate is to ask, what type of rest? We commiserate with our sister, Dr. Mrs. Tony Phillips, with her husband, Dr. Olumide Phillips, the entire family, the children, the grandchildren, and every member of the family on the passing of Mama and pray that each one of them will know the consolation of God's love in the power of his Holy Spirit. It is with this in mind that we can say that Mama Abimbola Folashade, our sister in Christ, after 97 years, has now entered finally into the rest promised by God. Mama Tilosimi, not just physical rest, but fellowship in the presence of God and in the saints in light. The funeral service witnessed a series of hymnal renditions, which mostly included some of the favorite songs of late Mrs. Abimbola Yuba.
To bring the funeral service to an end was the withdrawal hymn as the body of late Mrs. Abimbola Yuba was moved to the Ikoi Cemetery for the dust to dust rite in company of her immediate family members. It was latest celebration galore at Queen's Park, Lekki, Lagos, venue of the reception for late Mrs. Abimbola Falashade Yuba, an exceptional woman who is described as a virtuous woman all the way. As the faith band got on stage to dish out danceable songs to entertain guests. <laughs> More dignitaries stripped into the venue of the reception, among whom were the first executive governor of Ikiti State, Otumba Ni Adibayo, members of the Island Club, members of the Yoruba Tennis Club, among many others. The reception ceremony was fun all the way till the very end, as family members and well wishers took turns to dance to the music provided by the faith band. <laughs>
From Biscon Communications, we wish late Mrs. Abimbola Folashari Yuba, a great fan of the BC Olati Law Show, a good rest in the bosom of the Lord, and indeed commiserate with the Yuba family. I thank God for the life of my mother in law. This is a woman I've known for over 50 years. And she loved me, and I really, really love her. And I thank God that she gave me her only child, her only daughter. And in return for the blessing she gave me, I gave her through God, or God gave her through me, five God-given children and nine blessed grandchildren. I thank God for the life of my mother-in-law, my mother, whom we really love and who gave us the very best and who in return we give her the best you can afford. She was a wonderful mother, uh, a replica of the old block. Uh, she grew up as a Christian and made sure that her children followed that doctrine, being a true Christian and not just a church goer, a Christian in the real sense. Uh, she was a mother in Israel, but a mother in Nigeria, I would say. Thank you very much. As you can see, uh, there are more family members who are rallying around to make her funeral a success. She said earlier on that she doesn't want anyone to mourn. We should rejoice and we are all rejoicing for her. Wherever she is today, in God's arms, we're all happy that she's uh, addressed. She was an absolute sweetheart. She was God-fearing. She was very caring. And her daughter, Dr. Toyin Phillips, who is one of my favorite people, is exactly like her. I wish her and the family well. And uh, God will be with them. Thank you very much. Mama was a nice woman. Very friendly, very warm, very homely. She loves us all, she loves all the children around her. In fact, you would think every, all her, all her uh, children's uh, daughter's friends are her daughters, her friends as well. She, act, she's very, she was very accommodating, she was very nice, she was very homely and very sweet to every one of us. Whoever is her daughter's friend you know, was her own daughter. She, mama was lovely and we wish mama would stay would live longer than she did. But God loves her best, and he has taken her unto him. May, may her soul rest in perfect peace. Amen.